Viewer discretion is advised. If you just know you're that girl, yeah. you just have no choice but to be that girl. And I feel like I'm that girl. What if you don't wake up feeling like that girl? How do you be that girl? You need to go back to sleep and wake back up again so you can feel like that girl. There you have the child. That's why I feel like I'm the T. I feel like I'm the T because I work at being the T. <laughs> like, no shade. I'm not the T just because a bunch of bitches like me and live for me because we all homegirls. I'm the T because I'm the motherfucking T. And that's just sad. <laughs> like, like, I, I mean, that's just what it is. People legit in the world love to live for food. Love, 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 love to live for food. Love to live for your bald head home girl that do bald head home she like, like it's like it's clear that I'm I'm working at being the sea so girl let me be the sea <laughs> like give me that give me my flowers man I can't even lie I never once even considered natural organic products until my brother started Tika Naturals and I decided I'll be his first test subject so believing in him I let him do his thing you know but honestly I was so surprised this stuff really did work I haven't went back to regular store bought products since then. I particularly enjoy the scrubs, the soap bars, and the Unity hair oil. The soap bars clean my skin better than any other soap I've used in the past. I prefer to use them in conjunction with the scrubs. You can feel the pores opening up as it cleanses and locks in the moisture. All right, y'all. This right here is one of my favorite. It is called Black Irish. It contains charcoal, green tea, bergamot, and sandalwood. Like the soap and the scrubs, the Unity hair oil is definitely part of my weekly routine. I just apply a few drops and then massage it onto my scalp after a good wash and rinse. Then I just let the natural ingredients take over with amazing hair growth as well as nourishing moisture for my scalp. I've never seen these kind of results from any other product I've used. You should definitely grow up and try the glow up. I never knew my skin can feel this way. I gotta say thank you, but I'll let my skin and hair do that for me. So y'all make sure to check out my brother over at Tika Naturals. He's gonna get you right. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't had a chance to do so by now, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share because we all know that sharing is caring, honey, okay? And to go a step further, please tap the notification bell. That way you'll be informed each and every time I'm uploading something new. Make sure you guys are also following me on Instagram at ybent.tv. Um, also support my business page at Tika Naturals. And if you'd like to also support the platform in a monetary way, um, I'll make sure to put everything up here on the screen. And I'll also make sure to put it in the description box of the video for easy access, okay? Speaking of Tika Naturals, I have a few products left. Sugar scrubs, body oils, hair oils. The Lime Life soap is still available. Hello, God. But everything is kind of going pretty quick. I would like to say that I, once I sell out, I'm going to shut down um, and prepare myself for the fall. Um, I'm going to restructure some things. Um not sure where I'm headed with that yet, but you know, whatever I do, it'll be great. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Bitch. I also want to say anyone who has purchased something from me, um, check your email soon. I will be sending out a um, feedback request. I just really want you guys to just write me a review of your experiences with the products, things of that nature. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I recently had to dig into my Tika Naturals bag myself, girl, because, um, I was out with my nephew at one of his football events. It was an all day event. And when I tell you it was hot as Satan's pussy and balls, girl, let me tell you, let me tell you, girl, it was so hot. I was getting my life at that football event and I was wearing all black, like the depressive whore that I am. And bitch, when I tell you that sun murdered the fuck out of my skin. And girl, I sugar scrubbed. I even used my lip balm and a little bit of the body oil and it cleared it right the fuck on up. My skin was cracking, girl. I know, girl, release the cracking, girl, no God. Like, I'm so happy I make my own skincare products, girl, because I was out here looking mummified, girl. 
child, 3,000 year old mummy bitch, no God, honey. But in a day or two, I was able to wipe her clean. Amen. So shout out to my business, honey. She works. And might I add, I have not had not one negative complaint. Hello, God. That's why I'm pushing for y'all to do the reviews because I need to. Saying it is cute. But for other people and prospective customers, they need to see that as well. You know what I mean? So check your emails. I will be sending out a feedback request for those, again, who have already purchased and experienced the greatness that is Tika Naturals. And I want real honest reviews. Tell your truth, girl. Share your experience. Amen. Girl. All right. So I just want to get into a couple of things. Um, you guys know I've been going through, girl, and I... I've been trying to keep up with certain things here and there, but I'm not going to lie, girl. When real life hits, all that other shit can go to the wayside. Amen. So, I wanted to briefly talk about Chasing Atlanta, the reunion part one and part two. Just briefly, I just want to run through some things that stuck out to me, and I just wanted to give my opinion. First, I want to shout out TTB. He did an amazing job. I believe he probably was the best host that they've had. Um, finally, someone who is invested in the platform. Hello, God. Someone who's actually there that supports the T, that watches the show. Amen. He's also had the pleasure of interviewing and sitting with some of the greatest, you know, web reality <laughs> girls, honey. Hello, God. These loud ass hoes, girl, please. Um, and shout out to him too because he probably was the best dressed. So I guess let's just get into the fashions real quick. Um, TTB was dressed to kill, bitch. Hello, God. Um, and honestly, like, he was the only one. And that sucks because he's not a cast member. Wayne DePayne, what in the little house on the prairie were you wearing, girl? Like, did you, did you get dressed in, in the dark in your auntie's closet, girl? Your great, 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 great auntie's closet, girl? Like, what the fuck? Girl. Um, Willa, I just wasn't, that loud ass dress. Oliver, I know you're coming into the season of being gender fluid and all of these things, girl, whatever you want to call it, girl, but that was, it was like someone ate Katana from Mortal Kombat and spit her out on Pride Day. Okay, girl, please. Um, Aaron Thomas, you look like you were going to somebody's picnic, girl an outside baby shower girl it just was not the tea and you need to see somebody's gym girl you can't be out here trying to sound all sexy and sell music and you out here with a dad bod girl no god um troy was giving lisa ray you know all white it was kind of cute or whatever but i was just like girl why no one was cohesive i thought reunions were theme based girl like I'm gonna need y'all to, I always have a problem with that. There's never been a reunion that I watched in the web reality world that I was like, yes, girl, y'all slayed it. Y'all stuck to the theme. Everybody was cohesive. Girl, it was, no, no. It's like someone, you know, someone's child ate all the crayons in the crayon box, girl, and shit it and spit it at all y'all motherfuckers out on the stage. I'm not here for it. Dominique was Dominique. Um, Rico Casadine, a shout out to the 1990s girl. That was a cute little outfit or whatever. But again, where was the cohesion? This is a reunion. This is the, the, the time and the place for y'all to show up and show out and serve the girls' fashions. Kendra, why are you be sitting so uncomfortable, girl? Why? Mm. Anyway, um, Jaya Moore, I don't even remember what the hell you had on, to be honest. Mm. 
anything that stuck out for the reunions again reunions are just a regurgitation of what we have seen throughout the entirety of the season so again another reason why i don't even feel like needing to go in depth on any 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 real thing i want to say this aaron thomas you were not needed required nor desired this whole season you were a bore you were a snooze fest you came off very um I'm that nigga, and really you are not. Nobody knows you, I don't know you. A lot of the girls in my space do not know who you are. The fact that you, this bitch said he's going on a world tour. Girl. <laughs> girl, you gonna be singing in front of the family dollars, girl? Like, I just, I'm not trying to down that man, but it just kills me the grandiose way that we think of ourselves like we got to be honest and real do you have anybody in your life that's going to be honest with you because you're obviously not being honest with yourself about where you stand on the grand stage of this life okay a world tour girl you haven't even done a local tour at least not to my recollection but again you you weren't needed or required any throughout this season you didn't add anything um, at all. Oh, I forgot my um, baby daddy Ike. Shout out to Ike. I love the fact that you're, you know, you're experimenting with different clothing and things of that nature, and that's cute. You know, no tea, no shade, but I like my men to be men. But child, whatever. I'll deal with it. But only for you, Ike. Only for you. Okay. <laughs> um. I wanted to talk about Dominique real quick. Again, we find ourselves admitting, and I appreciate him for being able to admit that a lot of the shit that he did this season was extremely childish and overtly nasty based on a lot of the shit that he was going through with his relationship. Bitch, what you looking at? Don't look at me, girl. Don't stare me down like that, girl. I will girl the way i'm feeling these days girl i am waiting on a bitch to try it girl oh i don't like when people just drive by you all slow and they just give you that death stare like girl whatever bitch anyway but yeah honey i appreciate dominique for being able to admit that and own that that was a huge step in his you know evolution girl what is the t Y'all niggas be out here with these loud ass cars that don't be going no goddamn where. Jesus. Fucking up my video, bitch. Anyway, um. Shout out to Dominique for that. Um. I wanted to point out Jay Amore losing his mind over Troy and these $65, girl. I'm with Troy in a lot of ways, you know, we got to start doing better when it comes to, and I know we're talking about a web, you know, reality based show. A lot of this is personal coin that Andario and the rest of the crew are putting in. But when we go to these shared events, we're going to support our fellow sisters in Christ, girl. I feel like they should be paid for by production. It seems like the cast has to come out of pocket for every damn thing. They're already not getting paid for their services, right? <laughs> make that make sense to me. I, I just, mm, I feel like Chase of Reality is on the, the level now to where they can start giving the girls some type of bi-weekly stipend. You know, let's, you know, at least save y'all receipts and we'll try to reimburse y'all after we collect the YouTube coin after the season is over with. You know what I mean? something girl we got to give some type of incentive girl because that also adds to why you're getting lackluster cast members lackluster storylines in a lot of ways because these people are not motivated because there's no coin that's accompanying that okay if we were talking about a brand new platform then i can understand but chasing reality you've been around way too long not to pay the girls or at least cover their food girl cover their drinks Cover the door, the, the door uh, charge, girl. You know what I'm saying at these events. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oliver and Willa. 
I just don't, y'all spirits don't mix because Willa is a real ass bitch. Okay? Oliver, granted you had some valid points, but Willa had to give your ass the business because if it seems like other people are kind of scared to call you out on the way that you treat people and how you look down on others, but Miss Willa is not the one, the two, or the motherfucking three, and I'm here for it. Um, but Willa, I will say this. It's not what we say, how we present ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's how we're doing it, how we're saying it. The mood in which, the attitude in which we are serving the truth and justice. Because it can come off as, oh, this bitch is just like Oliver tried to yell out and say, girl, you just a loud and ghetto bitch. People love to, to use that towards real ass bitches like ourselves. But it's about how you serve that truth and justice that will pave the way, if that makes sense. Okay. Oh, he's cute. Hello. Anyway, um, Oliver and T.S. Kendra and Wayne the Pain with the whole chasing the beat. Oliver is absolutely correct in this situation. Wayne the Pain, you have had a history of dropping the motherfucking ball. But it's also up to Kendra to also make sure that the deed is being checked. But again, if I have a manager who handles my bookings, I have a manager who handles all of those things, you should be doing your job. Okay, I'm going to share an experience real quick. I wasn't even going to reveal this, but because it's, it, it's, it's valid to what the fuck it is we're talking about here. It's a pattern, history girl, you know. Uh, season four, I reached out to Kendra for a one-on-one -on -one in-depth interview. Kendra directed me to speak to Wayne because he knew her schedule better than she did. I reached out to Wayne. Wayne never... He saw the message, but he never followed through. I left it alone. This season came about. My first review for season five, when Kendra was talking about a lot of the stuff that she was going through, you know, suicide ideations, girl, dealing with, you know, all this death and tragedy in her life and all of those things. Y'all may remember my first review and you know how I go in depth. And I love Kendra and I relate to her a lot. She reached out to me to thank me about how I reviewed the episode. And she was like, hey, I definitely want to do that one-on-one -on -one with you. I said, sure, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. So time came or You know me, I'm not going to do no interview the first couple episodes of the season. So I reached back out and I was like, hey. And she was like, hey, you know, reach out to Wayne. Child, okay. Um, again, he knows my schedule better than <laughs> I do. I reached out to Wayne, he did it again. Saw the message and did not respond. So it makes me think, like, okay, Wayne, you ain't checking the deed. You're not securing your artist. You're not doing your fucking job. So that's why I'm definitely on Oliver's side because we can say what we want about Oliver and his personality and the way that he treats people. But when it comes to the business, Oliver is going to make sure that every I is dotted and every T is crossed. That's the thing that I can truly appreciate about Oliver. He's going to make sure that the business is handled, girl. So yes, Wayne, you did drop the ball. And I wonder if it's because you trying to do too much with breaking out to be your own artist. If that is the case, and we, we, we recognize that there was some something going on um, that previous season where Kendra announced that Wayne DePayne was no longer going to be her manager. He wanted to pursue his own personal, you know, things, you know, business-wise and, 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 you know, personally and things of that nature when it comes to music and shit. I wonder if there is an internal conversation because Kendra doesn't seem to even say much when it comes to that side of the conversation with Wayne. So it makes me believe that they've already had this discussion. But because they're friends, Kendra's just gone ahead and taken the hit. Girl, if you're really trying to be in this life and you really want to move forward and be successful and overflow of abundance, you want to be limitless, girl, you're going to have to start treating people 
especially the ones that work for you, that work with you. You need to learn to separate that shit. Because if this man is not doing his job, there's no telling like what you could be missing out on, girl. I really wanted to interview you. I feel like, under no shade to nobody else, but I feel like my platform is the best place to really get into the minutiae of a person, of an individual, girl. I really do believe that. And Kendra has a wonderful story to tell, girl. And I feel like me, myself and I, bitch, YB Entertainment TV has the ability to cultivate and to nurture how that conversation would go. I'm still down for it, but I ain't reaching out to Wayne no more. Fuck that shit. And please don't take this the wrong way, y'all. I'm just giving my truth. And if you do take it the wrong way, then girl, it is what it is. That means that y'all are really the problem. Um, think about it on the professional level and you won't be in your feelings. Okay? Um, what else? Jaya Moore, girl, you had a lot like, oof, you and Cameron, I'm not gonna even regurgitate none of that shit. <sighs> Stop living for the cameras, because this is where I feel like a lot of the issue is, the girls want moments. And in that, you end up destroying relationships, friendships, and, and, and everything that you had before filming even started. All because you're looking for a moment. I don't believe that Jay Amore has ill intentions. I don't think that he's a natural mean bitch. I just think that this season didn't really do him any real justice. Although I will say this, chasing wise, he did his thing. I would love to see him come back for the next season. Um, now that we know that Cameron will not be around, you know, she's moving to Texas. We know that Ike is also moving to Texas. So there will be room for new cast members to come aboard for season six. And I would like to see JMR return. Um, anything else that caught my eye? At the end of it all, again, I'm going to, I have to repeat myself. When we peel back y'all's layers, we realize that we have more in common than we thought. Amen. We then realized, girl, that, damn, bitch, you know, I, too, struggle. I, too, can relate to a lot of the shit that you've endured in your life. But what kills me with these people is that we have these heart-to-heart -heart moments, and then the next take, we're ready to fight somebody. We didn't have these kumbaya moments, and we done cried, girl. We done held each other's hands, girl. We done had our For Color Girls moment. Hello, God. All for us to be added to the throats 10 seconds later. So that's where I have to call out bullshit. It seems very disingenuous when you guys have these heartfelt moments. Who the fuck drinks Mountain Dew anymore these days? Girl, please. Ugh. <laughs> um... Anything else that I really care about? I want to give Troy his props. I really think that he's grown a lot. Um, but I'm going to need Troy to get out of his feelings. You have to learn that this is a business that you're involved in. And you also have to learn that not everybody is your friend. And I think all of y'all need to realize that too. Especially if you're those girls who don't hang out outside of filming. Stop being so quick to call each other brothers and sisters and friends and besties if you ain't hanging out outside of filming. Hello, God, period. Um, I want to shout out Rico with a K for standing up for himself when it came down to Oliver and Aaron Thomas. Um, Rico with a K was not here for the trash that Aaron Thomas spoke out of his filthy, grotesque mouth. Girl, she says she's going back to gospel. Girl. Girl. Aaron Thomas is so full of himself, girl. Anyway, 
But shout out Rico with a K for standing up and letting the girls know what it is. And I think we need to understand too, I can air out my grievance with you, right? Without being mad. Like y'all have had to relive this shit, you know, you, you, you lived it by taping it, you lived it by uh, revisiting it with your confessionals and watching it over with us and now at the reunion. So I can get how y'all can be aggravated. You know, you might have saw some things that you didn't pay attention to the shade of it all before. But I'm going to tell y'all the truth. <clears throat> you can gather someone without having the feelings. And I think that Rico with a K explained that very well. Like, I'm just letting you know how I felt about that situation, girl. And again, we got to talk about Oliver. You can never discount someone's experience, girl. You're not going to sit here and talk down on people and make them feel like, what they have to say or how they feel is null and void all because you feel that way. Because again, the shoes on the other foot, Oliver's going to throw a hell of a fit, bitch. Okay. But again, shout out to Chasing Reality. It was a very good reunion. Really good season. Um, honestly, like, recasting... Getting rid of Aaron Thomas, Jay Moore can definitely come back in my opinion. Dominique should stay only if his spirit is purified. Cause girl, hopefully this year you can get your ex out of your system. She says she hoeing now, girl. Be careful, girl. It's Atlanta. I, I know you trying to get your man out of your system. That was the only man you loved. Curtis was the only one for you for so many years, girl. You didn't want to give your pussy away to nobody else. I get it. So now you trying to heal by, you know doing and hooing but again be mindful girl dominique should definitely come back i feel like we should give troy another opportunity as well um i like kendra but this season it just wasn't hitting for me and maybe that's because she had a lot of personal shit going on that she was dealing with um while filming was taking place but I do say, let's give her another chance. But girl, and Wayne, you don't need to come back. Um, Rico Cassadine came, saw, and conquered for his first season on the platform. He definitely should come back. Um, Rico with a K, I just... <sighs> because you have this balanced-ass, you know, persona, I say come back. But you need to be given a little more because you didn't really give shit this season, girl. Again, I, I don't know what all the girls were facing personally. There were a lot of people to film and a lot of shit to do, and I, I get that. But like Rico with a K, you really just weren't there. You weren't visible enough for me. Um, so definitely, um, I put a question mark next to you. You know, we're here to be entertained. We're here to see y'all. We're here to see y'all chasing. We're here to see y'all, you know, the group dynamic and things of that nature. And I get it. It's going to be difficult to have a group dynamic if everybody is new. But just like, you know, Real Housewives, girl, they use the main dogs to bring in, you know, their friends that kind of already know some of the people in the group. That way, there could be some kind of cohesion in filming. That way, not everybody's looking lost like Kim Fields, girl that season that horrible season of real housewives of atlanta <sighs> moving on i want to shout out markel i want to shout out again andario what did i tell y'all chasing dallas will be returning <laughs> yba is i'm not gonna leave y'all astray girl i'm not gonna leave y'all astray girl they're coming back yes i do want to say this though y'all gonna stop trying me Y'all can take this how y'all want to take it. I'm not a hater. I love everybody. Don't get me wrong, but y'all gonna stop trying me. Y'all gonna stop trying me. I have been a <laughs> I, I've been with this platform since they came out. Granted, I don't have the numbers. Granted, I may not be top tier YouTuber of the year or whatever the fuck. But I will say this. I have done my motherfucking thing when it comes to the chasing reality platform. 
you say my name, a bitch gonna know it. I get in those chats during the premieres, the girls know who the fuck YB Entertainment TV is. I've had, even last year, I had a lot of interviews. Uh, I did a lot of different things. Child, y'all don't use none of my clips. Y'all don't ask me to host no reunion. And no T, no shade. You know, me and TTB already had that conversation. So y'all don't want y'all trying to say, oh, child, you just know. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not, talk I'm not talking shit on that level. I'm just saying, though, child, it's, it, it's cool, though. It, I understand, child. Everyone has their moment. Maybe it's just not meant for me at this time. But I'm going to say y'all going to stop trying me. What I say is when I saw that promo for um, Chasing Dallas, I heard everybody else's voice in there. But didn't I myself host a plethora of conversation pieces with a lot of y'all last year? Girl. At this point, G-Status, <laughs> that, that Forgotten Season girl, they were the only one to ever really use my... To use me in their promo. Their trailer has me and a couple other reviewers on there too. In Chase and Reality, I feel like I've given all that I could give at this point. You know, again, I don't expect anybody to give me shit. But I do feel like I have put in the work. I do feel like that I have built relationships with a lot of people on your platforms. And... Um, I just think it's time to give me my things. Sorry if... how Take that however the fuck you want. I really don't care. There's no hoe in my blood. There's no hater in my blood. I love everybody. I want everybody to be successful. And I'm happy that other people are getting opportunities. And also representing for the girls. Amen? But I'm, 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 I'm catching on, girl. And it's starting to work my fucking nerves. Anyway... Um, Chasing LA is coming back, girl. I have not seen the super trailer yet. Um, I see a couple of new faces, girl. I'm just like, ugh. <sighs> drama, drama, drama. But again, it looks good. It looks really good. And Q, let me say this about your ass real quick. Don't, this is what I have a problem with. Don't just show up when it's giving you a good look. You disappeared after that first season of Chasing LA. You are nowhere else to be found. But you were all up in that chat. I guess you were like co-directing the reunion for this season of Chasing Atlanta. Girl and girl... <laughs> I have a big problem with people that do stuff like that. I have a really, really, really big problem. I love Q, don't get me wrong, but I have a problem with people who just pop up when it's time to celebrate them, when it's time to, you know, push their shows or push their products or things of that nature. Girl, I, I got a problem with that, but whatever, it is what it is. I'm definitely going to be watching Chasing L.A., um, I'm here, you know, I love the official King Payne, you know, I love Hershey LaCour, honey, hello God. Um, it's such a girl, I'm here for a girl, it seems like we're gonna be some, gonna be some drama. I just hope that D Hawkins is not returning, I, I, you know, I'm glad that I think Andre is returning, I'm here for that. Um, speaking of all of these people, didn't I hear y'all voices in the, the retreat that was supposed to be coming out in May? So what's up, Reesey girl? What's up, Karan? This is the shit I be talking about. Y'all be trying to, y'all be making these bold statements about shit coming out, and then we have nothing to show for it. Summer is damn near over, girl. We're walking into a new season, and we were we we were promised that by May we were going to be getting some shows. But I get it. Shit happens, girl, and um, you know. I understand, but Karan also posted recently saying, girl, after dealing with a bunch of trash and a bunch of bullshit that he's not going, after this year, he ain't going to be doing no more projects. Y'all sit here and cater to <laughs> the drama and the fuck shit of the web reality world, and then y'all get exhausted and tired. You Make that make sense for me. How are you getting tired? You love to facilitate the mess. The fighting, the drama of it all, girl. 
<laughs> I need to take a break from the very foundation you built. <laughs> Girl, please. Um, what else? Ariel O'Hara posted something. And she shared it with me. She tagged me in it as well. I forgot. What did she say she was going to be part of the come up? Was it the come up? Shit. I forget. Is she going to be part of some show? Shout out to Ariel who's also booked and busy and doing her thing. You know that's my girl, honey. That's my home girl. You know what I mean? That's my sister. Love me some Ariel O'Hara, honey. Anything else? No? That's it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.